hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you how you can do live face swapping during streaming in the previous few days i have done videos on deep life cam and then there is another project rope and rope pearl which i already have covered and shown you how you can get them installed locally with the help of both of these tools not only you can do the face swapping in any of the video offline but you can also do the live swapping but this project which is called as Roop per live which is a fork of the Roop project does only streaming and then live swapping during the streaming you can use it with obs you can use it with zoom and there are a few other ways you can use it and i will show you shortly later down the video after we get it installed on the windows this has a lot of other features which are not present in the root pearl for example it includes a lot of uh, mods created by different people also it supports using live cam feed as a video source for swapping it also supports sending the swap video as virtual camera output which can be used in external applications like google meet teams zoom twitch and various others you can also integrate a rope with obs studio for real-time recording with microphone or computer audio also you can restore eyes and mouth from the original face you can blend the eyes and mouth from the original face with the swap face to preserve expression so you would need a windows system in, or, in order to get this installed it won't work on mac or on any other operating system also you must have nvidia gpu with nvidia G cuda and drivers installed you should have git installed you should have conda installed and you should have ffm pack installed now i will also show you how you can install all of this shortly first up let's install our mini conda or conda so mini conda is simply a minimalistic version of conda software conda allows you to create a virtual environment on your local system so go to this website and i will drop the link to it in video description and then and all the commands i'm going to use i'm going to put all the commands step by step in my blog and i will drop the link in video description so just sit back and follow the instructions or just watch instead of typing the commands so first up from the mini conda's website i'm downloading this anaconda and then from here i just need to provide my gmail account and i'm not agreeing to that let's submit it and then it has sent me the link on my uh, email so let me grab that and once i have pasted the link here this is the download button you can also let's wait for it you see that it is downloading here let's wait for it to get downloaded it is just close to one gig of size it's almost there let's wait for it and then i will just install it next up just click on open files it is starting click next i agree and then just go with the flow and it will install it locally that's about it and it took around five minutes but you can see that it is now installed just next next and then finish and from here you can just close these windows no need to keep them open now in order to check it out just go to your bottom left just type cmd here and then here you can uh, maybe go with conda env list or conda version so you can see that conda command is working sometimes you might get um, an error here that conda is not a recognized command in that case all you need to do is to just go to this bottom here and then just type anaconda prompt you will see this anaconda prompt and then from here you can just type something like uh, where conda or where anaconda and you just need to grab all these three paths and then in the bottom section you just have to go to environment variable from here click on environment variable then in the bottom section click on path add, uh, edit and then make sure that you have added all these four paths here one two three four so once you have added these then click ok ok and ok and then you should be able to see this conda command working on your system 
you can see that I have the latest version of Conda installed. I know that it's a bit of a pain in the back, but Conda is uh, hard to get working on Windows. But you can see that if you follow these steps, you should be able to get it working. Okay, next up, go to your desktop, create a new folder. I'm just calling it live rope and then press enter. Now we are here in this directory. Second step, go to this GitHub repo of this rope per live. Click on the screen button. From here, you can simply just download this zip file into the directory which we have just created. So just do save link as and then from your desktop, select that live rope and then save. You can also git clone this repo, but let's do it with this zip one. That is done. Let's unzip it here, extract here. And that is done. You see that we are now this rope live directory. And now in this directory, in this address bar, just type cmd and it is going to open it in your terminal. Let me make the font a bit bigger by going to edit or maybe properties font. And then I'm just going to make it maybe 20 and bold. Click OK. That's much better. Just make it slightly bigger if I can. Cool. Now here, let's create our conda environment. The command is conda create dash n. Just call, let's call it a rope and then press enter. And I'm installing with Python 3.10. So let's wait for it to finish. If it asks you about why or no, so just press Y here and then press enter. It is going to take a bit of a time. So let's wait. Our conda virtual environment is created. Now let's activate that environment by doing conda activate rope and you should Okay, so it says that we need to do conda init because this is the first installation. That is why we need to do this conda init first. And that is done. So we need to close this shell like this. And then we just need to reopen it by doing CMD here. And that is done. And now we can simply do conda activate and rope. And now you can see that the rope is present here. You can see that it is in our parenthesis, which means that rope is activated. Next up, we need to install all the dependencies. And that is a very important step because if that step doesn't work, then your live streaming won't work. So this is a command for it. In this one, we are installing CUDA runtime, which is required for our GPU and then few other libraries. So let me run it. It is running and it and it is going to take four to five minutes. So let's wait for it to finish. All the dependencies are done. Next up, let's install all the requirements from the root of this repo. And again, it is going to take a minute or two. So let's wait. And now all the requirements are also installed. So Next step which we need to do is to go to this link of the Google Drive or OneDrive and then download all of these model files to our local system. And the way of doing it is just right click on this first and then maybe I'll just select all of them. Hopefully it will let me download all of them. So let me select all of these. And you can just simply click here to select all of these. I think this is a better way of doing it. And then from here, I believe there should be an option of downloading all of these. Let me quickly check. Okay, so I had to create a new Microsoft account and then I have to log in. And now when I select all of these files, I see this download option at the top. So let's click on download. Hopefully it is going to ask me where to download. No, it is just downloading it anyway. So let's wait for it to download and then we would have to move it to the models directory and I will show you shortly. Shouldn't take too long, I don't think so. It's a big file. All the models have been downloaded. Let's go to this download directory. I believe this is, this is here. Just cut it from here. And then on the desktop where I have put in my, sorry, this is a desktop. And here we have live room. In this repo, there is a models directory. Just put your model here, just control V and then extract all of them here. Let's wait for them to get extracted. There are a lot of them as you can see. 
and all of the files have been extracted in this folder okay next up if you want to integrate it with your obs virtual camera you should have already obs installed and then you should uh, be running it so maybe just go obs studio launch the obs studio and normally let's wait for it to get launched and from obs studio you would need to click on start virtual camera and then stop virtual camera once so that your virtu virtual camera will be working and virtual camera is used to um, enable the applications like zoom teams so to use the screen capture and camera with the help of obs studio so that is done let me close it now go back to the root of this roper live and from there in order to start the application all you need to do is to double click on this rope.pat you can even open it here or you can simply go to your uh, uh, sorry your uh, virtual environment and from there just to rope dot slash rope and then dot pat and then press enter and once you enter that you see it has opened up the rope pearl from here it's the same interface which I have shown you earlier where all you need to do is to just start the rope select your videos output spaces and then you can play around with it so for that one first just select the select videos folder select your wherever you have put in your source video click on select folder so this is my own video you can also stream it and then select faces folder just put in where you want to get the faces from so you see that i have these faces and then click on select output folder and then just use this one where the output video will be stored now click on start rope from here as you can see it started so from there you just select this video and then you are going to select any of the video from here maybe i'll just go with al pacino and then click on find faces it has found this face and then you can simply click on swap faces and then click on the play and you would need to select this one too so you see now it is me live this is me speaking live at the moment hopefully you can see my hand no you can't see my hand let me move my head up and down yes yeah, so this is me at the moment and this is a live camera which is being swapped at the moment now let me select charlie now and then this is a charlie let me play it again so okay i just have to go back from here start from here okay so i'm just going to deselect this video hang on and there you go this is me in the camera talking live tissue and i have just swapped the face with a bollywood actor shahrukh khan and <laughs> let me yeah so you see uh, this is me yeah and let me talk with you cool there's a lag between i guess in the voice but that is fine okay guys i will leave you as Sil sylvester stallion stallion um rambo of course and just pretending to be live so uh, in the face of sylvester so try it out let me know how you go i'm sure that you would love it i will drop the link to it in video description and i will also give you the code so any issues any problem paste them in the comments if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching